What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of Reddit where we'll see what the people of the world think about malaria treatments. If you liked the video, post your favorite Reddit comment in the description for a chance to win $10. Hope you enjoy. Much love. Malaria completely stopped by microbe. Scientists have discovered a microbe that completely protects mosquitoes from being infected with malaria. According to the article, to be effective, 40% of mosquitoes in a given area would need to be infected. I believe this could be a challenge, but it offers real possibility in areas where malaria is not yet endemic, but expected to spread in the near future due to climate change. Couldn't they dump infected mosquitoes? Yes. They lab raise mosquitoes with Wolbachia and dump them in the wild for denge. Wolbachia is my absolute favorite microbe until it kills everyone who speaks the English language. It can't and doesn't infect humans. Unfortunately, the fungus that prevents malaria causes a host of other maladies in other creatures. Hopefully they can find a variety that exclusively affects mosquitoes. Loosely 1500 of the probably more than 1 million species are named now. That's from the wiki page. The host of other maladies are likely individually caused each by a particular species of microsporidia. I don't believe this newly discovered species will doom other creatures. So it's the microbium equivalent of introducing a foreign species into a native environment. Could be mostly fine. More likely very bad. Well it's not a foreign. It was found on the shores of Lake Vic. Species in Kenya where 50 million people are at risk of malaria. Right? But given the scientists quoted a worldwide death toll I'd assume the goal is to spread the fungus to every affected country, which could be a problem. Malaria isn't strictly a Kenyan problem, or strictly an African problem. I'd absolutely hope for a solution. I'm just hesitant to think this might be it. This is really really tame compared to some of the methods used to mess with mosquitoes now and in the past. This is a natural fungus found in mosquitoes in Kenya in geographically dispersed populations. The process would likely involve zero genetic engineering and its biological control so little in the way of chemicals. It's a win-win-win in those regards. If anything it's overly idealistic and too careful. Much easier is just wiping out the malaria carrying mosquitoes and letting non-malaria carrying mosquitoes fill the ecological niche. Who knew the answer was to cure the mosquitoes, instead of humans? Super interesting stuff. It's actually, because the way that malaria works makes it really hard to treat in humans. Uses some real unusual mechanisms that throw most vaccine developments for a loop. Vaccines are for viruses, malaria is an intracellular parasite. Red blood cells being their host for reproduction. Can we just get rid of mosquitoes? Useless flying dirty needle of annoyance. And ticks too while we're at it. There is indeed multiple projects underway to see if we could selectively exterminate them. Great article. Thanks for sharing it. I hope they succeed. Forgive my skepticism. But this is not the first organic control method proposed that can prevent malaria transmission. There is a whole host of microorganisms that have shown refractory effect towards plasmodium. I've spent some time working on Wolbachia, and this newfound method will face the same issues. The whole 40% of mosquitoes need to be infected thing is often repeated. But it's not so simple. Mosquito ecology is very very complicated. This like lots of other studies is being ridiculously oversold. There's no shortage of things that can eradicate malaria, mosquitoes. Distributing it in a cost-effective manner without adverse consequences is the real challenge. This might possibly lead to some effective treatment somewhere down the line, but there's a whole bunch of steps to get anywhere close to the point where you could say it's actually a feasible way of eradicating malaria. There could be dozens of as yet unforeseen challenges that derail it before it even gets to small scale trials, which is why so many of these promising discoveries you never hear from again. This is similar to all the studies showing X drug kills cancer in a petri dish. Completely useless unless it also comes bundled with a way of delivering it to cancer cells. 
And this is the last time we'll ever hear about this. Sir, we can save Africa. Hum. How much can they pay me up front? Shove it. Serious question. In any way shape or form. Was this related to the work Bill Gates has done? If memory serves right he's spent billions on malaria research. It would be the world's cruelest joke if some totally unrelated research was what finally did it. I get what you are saying. But in the end his contributions will have helped no matter what. Whether it was informing what did or did not work and why. Or by ensuring the most promising opportunities were pursued there by enabling other opportunities to receive funding from other sources. Any contributions in general should have a net positive benefit. A rising tide lifts all the ships. Also how are we going to get all those mosquitoes to show up for their annual vaccinations? Suppress anti-vax propaganda on Black Book and Instagram. This new species may be beneficial to the mosquito and was naturally found in around 5% of the insects studied. But the microbe is also cursed. Just use CRISPR to force mosquitoes to only produce males and we'll eradicate malaria, dengue, West Nile virus, chicken denial, yellow fever, filariasis, tularemia, dinofilariasis, Japanese encephalitis, St. Louis encephalitis, Western equine encephalitis, Eastern equine encephalitis, Venezuelan equine encephalitis, Ross River fever, Barma forest fever, Lacrosse encephalitis, Zika fever, Keystone virus, and Rift Valley fever. Mosquitoes themselves may not be a significant food source, but their larvae is extremely important. Calls to wipe them out are haphazard at best, nearsighted and catastrophic at worst. I would be much more interested in studying the effect of this microbial protection in humans. Our bodies already host billions of beneficial bacteria. Perhaps a symbiotic relationship is possible? But then again, fungi have a problematic relationship with bacteria. I'm sure the scientists have thought of that. Perhaps mosquitoes aren't an irreplaceable food source in the wild? Either way, not all species of mosquito carry malaria, so we would just need to wipe out the ones who do carry it. There are over 3,500 species of mosquito and only 30-40 species carry malaria. Mosquito lay larvae in small ponds or pools of water overlapping with countless other insects. There is no pond predator, egg, tadpole, fish, that selectively or exclusively eats mosquito larvae. I don't think this is a particular niche's need of protection. I thought links had to be to actual manuscripts and not news articles. Or, we just kill all the mosquitoes. They do not significantly affect any food supplies and they are simply a nuisance. We have the technology and the means to eradicate them. We should treat them no differently than we do viruses or bacteria. Why not devise a methodology to eradicate mosquitoes completely? Quick! We have to usher this to the United States right away to help treat COVID-19. Thanks, but the plan to eradicate them sounds much better. Is there some off way of injection inside? Or almost a cleaning? What the humans didn't know is that malaria was the cure to coronavirus. With one foul swoop they resigned their fate to the gods. Don't let Trump hear about this. This conversation has been going for a while. At one point there was talk of eliminating the male mosquito population. New Scientist magazine I think, 10 years ago. But what about the economy? Surely nothing bad can come from this. 
In 2020, even our greatest scientific discoveries sound like they're straight out of the bad place. We cured malaria in mosquitoes. Skeeters don't get it. You don't get it. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite reddit comment from the video for a chance to win $10. If you post on other videos you can win double the total prize money. Oh yes, that's right. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video. By liking and subscribing you're helping a growing channel. Take care. Pip Pip Cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British, and the Queen.